Okay, so what do we have here? We have what looks like a pie with segments. It looks like in each square we've got the same segments, but they're just in different positions. So we've got a gray, a black, and a sort of hatched uh, segment. So let's just lock on to, let's say, the black segment first and try to figure out its pattern. So if you kind of glance, you can see that it looks like it's alternating between two positions. It goes in the sort of top right to the bottom left, back to the top right, back to the bottom left. So that seems pretty clear. So we expect in the fifth square in this sequence that it will be back in this top right position. So let's go through our answer options and see which we can eliminate based on that. So in A, it's in the correct position. B, it isn't. So we can eliminate B. C and D, it's in the correct position. So it looks like uh, B's gone and A, C and D are still options. Okay, uh, what about now, let's say the hatched segment. Let's look at it. So it's going from this position to this one back to this one again, back up to this one. So kind of a similar concept for the, or compared to the black segment. So we'd expect then that in the fifth square, it's back down to this bottom kind of right position. So let's look at our options. Remember we had A, C, and D remaining because we'd already eliminated B. And we see straight away, well, A is the only one that has the hatched segment in the correct position. Um, B has it, but we'd eliminated it because the black was in the wrong position. C and D, it's not there. So it looks like straight away A is the correct answer. So that's pretty lucky. We got to the answer pretty quickly, and that's partly just luck because we chose to lock on to one of the shapes that was going to give us um, a definitive answer. Um, let's just make sure we are correct and check off the pattern of the last remaining segment. So we've got this gray segment. Let's figure out what it's doing. So it's gone from here around to here. So that's one, two, three, four positions. And then it's gone from here to here. That's one, two, three positions. Then it's gone from here to here. That's one, two positions. So it's gone four, three, two. So it looks like it's going anti-clockwise by a decreasing number of uh, positions in each step. So it's gone four, three, two. Uh, we would expect then it just moves one in this next uh, square. So it goes from here to here. Let's just confirm that A does indeed have the gray segment in that position, and it does. Definitely, it's looking like A is the correct answer. I'd select that at this point, and I'd move on. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, as always, please leave them below in the thread. Otherwise, you can head on over to gradtest.com.au where you can take this inductive reasoning test for free.